one by one, I and the rest of uh, my council districts support the Black Lives Matter movement. A show of solidarity. I personally stand by the Black Lives Matter movement. Sacramento City Youth Commissioner shined a light on Pride Month and rallying cries of Black Lives Matter activists. I urge Council Mayor and the District Attorney's Office to listen to Sacramento, the people, their needs and their demands in this time to hold officers accountable and to digest from and defund that be in favor of community-based non-police alternatives. Council member-elect Katie Valenzuela says calls to defund police are not an attempt to dismantle the force, but rather to reimagine public safety. Instead of policing, like how can we reallocate certain amounts of the police budget to prevent the need for police in the first place? She's calling out a $10 million budget increase for police set to kick in July 1st. At Tuesday's city council meeting, Valenzuela helped rally a chorus of voices. We need to invest in communities, not police. Urging city council to reprioritize the budget. But city officials say the $10 million figure is misleading, with $3 million going to police vehicles and the rest a continuation of labor agreements. We did not actually add any positions. The only thing we added in the police department was funding for an existing position in the mental health team. Earlier in the day, four of the city's eight council members, all of them black and brown members, called on the mayor and city manager to invest in community programs and review and revise police use of force policies, including proposals from the Sacramento Community Police Review Commission formed nearly three years ago.